Well, after watching the film uh, yesterday and studying the film, I was extremely pleased on how hard our football team is playing right now. And uh, on all three phases, special teams, defense, and offense, they're playing hard. And as I told the team yesterday that, you know, that's not the end-all, be-all. At the end of the play, there's got to be execution from everybody on the, on the, uh, on the squad. Uh, and that's what helps you win football games. Um, I thought we did a, a great job defense, uh, again, getting them stopped at some crit critical times uh, on some sudden change situations. Offensively, I thought we did some good things. Uh, you know, we, the thing we're not doing right now very well is making big plays in our offense. And it's hard to drive the ball 70 yards consistently without a hiccup. So that's, uh, we need to manufacture some big plays, and those will produce some po points for us. Um, and obviously the big thing offensively is always to take care of the fo football, and we didn't do a good job of, of that on uh, Saturday. We turned it over four times. Um, and some of those plays, I mean, the, the first play that we, the second play we turned it over was a halfback pass, which is, you know, those are game-changing plays where you got a wide-open guy, you got to make those plays. Um, same thing with the potential interception that we, we had dropped. Those are game-changing plays that instead of it being you know, seven to three, and then go, them going down the score to make it ten to seven. It's now potentially fourteen to three, and now you have a whole different complexion on a ball football game. So, you know, we got to start making those plays. And um, but again, I, you know, our effort has been tremendous. Our guys have done a great job of getting themselves ready to play, and we just need to make those plays when we have an opportunity to. He's good. He's a good player. He can. He's got a. Tremendous accuracy. He's got good feet in the pocket, and uh, he can pull it down and run with it. Uh, so we're gonna have to do a good job of. And they got good. He's got good weapons on the outside as well. So we have to do a good job of being sound, uh, not giving up the big play. And then when he does pull it down, we need to do a good job tackling. You no, know, they run a complex offense, and uh, you know we're gonna have to have a great uh, week of preparation because uh, you know he'll hang 40 on you fast if you're not ready for this guy. So. Uh, you know, we're going to have to watch extra film and, you know, just practice that much harder for this guy. We're all anxious right now. Um, we started out slow, as you can tell, but, you know, we're not looking down on this. We're looking at it as a learning, learning experience. We need to, you know, come in and do the extra things to help us out to get us better and more prepared for the games. Um, you know, if it's from lifting to watching more film, we need to just get in there and do what we got to do. And, uh, you know, we're all keeping our heads up and looking forward. We're still excited. There's still a lot of ball to be played, so. We're going to take off. We're going to have a, gonna have a team breakfast on Friday, and hop on the bus, watch our movies, and kind of relax. And, and uh, we're going to prepare the same way, whether we're 1-5 and five or 1-4 and four or 4-1. Four and one, doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to prepare the same way, and we're going to play as hard as we can, and we're going to find a way to win the football game. We're going to find a way. And uh, I'll say it again for the hundredth time, I love the guys in our locker room. I love where their mind is. And uh, you may get sick of hearing that, but I do. And I, it, that's sincere. And uh, I believe in them. And I'm frustrated with them. They're frustrated. I'm frustrated with them. But we're going to find a way to win.